I'm the national treasure. I'm the one that will talk. I'm the one they can't measure with the steps that they walk. I'm the link between bracelets of the good and the bad. I'm the girl from the basics, the alive from the dead. The book that Moscow, le coeur, the heart of Russia. Moscow is the Russian red, known for the Kremlin, the Bolshoi theater, and the beautiful Russian women. One thing I've heard very often is that many foreigners who dream of coming to Moscow always say the same thing. I really, really want to go. But my mom won't let me because it's very, very dangerous. Moscow is the capital of Mother Russia, also its economic, political, and cultural center. According to Rostat, the current population of Moscow exceeds 12 million people, and these are only the official statistics. Everyone wants a piece of Moscow, and once you go Moscow, you don't go back. It is the most populated city in Europe and Russia, a city of opportunity, culture, architecture, sports, art, business, nightlife, green parks, variable restaurants, with any cuisine you can imagine. Anything you want, saint or sinner, you can find your Moscow experience custom tailored to your particular needs. Moscow never sleeps, and you will always find something interesting to do at night, from amazing dance clubs to the night of museums. It is infinity for those who love entertainment. It is the city of events, a city that always offers something to do. Exhibitions, festivals, performances, excursions, concerts, quests, and marathons. Moscow does not close its pharmacies on Sundays like many European cities. We have access to everything all the time. Our city government always finds new ways to entertain the locals and the tourists. Above all, Moscow is clean and safe. Although our policemen are seen mostly at public events, the city is much more serene than it used to be due to the work of our mayor and the city government. There is a big leap forward in terms of security which is related with the development of modern technology including face scanners and metal detectors which make us feel not only safe but also free. Moscow is peaceful and full of life at the same time. It is a vortex of the beauty industry, a city where high heels are a must. A Amazing food is a standard and cultural diversity is normal. Moscow is the place where I was born and raised, a land where golden domes look up to the blue sky. Different people from all around the globe find life very comfortable in Moscow, with its Orthodox churches, synagogues, mosques, Catholic churches, Buddhist centers, and other spiritual places. Even the British Independent has called this cosmopolitan city the most foreigner friendly. In the words of our great Russian poet Alexander Pushkin, Moscow, how many strains are fusing in that one sound for Russian hearts, what store of riches it imparts. On the 4th of February, 2022, the UN had recognized Moscow as the top city for its infrastructure. We have the most beautiful metro underground on earth, which is a living museum and a great form of transportation. The last 11 years have transformed Moscow into an urban paradise. Cafes, Wi-Fi, green parks, theaters, culture, nightlife. Of course every now and then somebody from the mafia points a gun in your head. I'm just kidding. The Russian policemen are very cautious of the criminal activity and I personally over my years in Moscow have never faced a violent scary situation.
Today on Moscow's 875th birthday, more than 10,000 people are protecting the city from any possible dangers so that the Moscovites can enjoy what they perceive as the most beautiful city in the world. I must say that the remaining aftertaste of the dangerous 90s still remains in the minds of those people who haven't been in Moscow for the last 10 years. As of today, Moscow being more dangerous than other big cities is a complete myth. Happy birthday, Moscow. The whole city is celebrating. <music> Moscow is considered one of the hero cities of our country for its bravery and protection of its motherland during the Second World War. You're always welcome to visit Moscow because Moscow is calling.